Okay, so here's a AA battery, right? It has some available amount of charge in there. Namely, if I hook this up to a wire, it can power a circuit and it will run for some amount of time, right? You've got these things in all sorts of electronic devices, of course. There must be some amount of charge that it can move. Let's figure out what that is. And if you look at the AA battery, it says the voltage is 1.5 volts. If you look up the specs on a AA battery, it'll tell you how long it lasts. And it says that a current of 100 milliamps will last for a delta T of about 10 hours. Okay, 100 milliamps out of this thing, it'll last for about 10 hours. Okay, let's figure out how much charge that means is coming out of this AA battery. So what do we know? We know I, current, is delta Q over delta T. We also know that we have I, we have delta T, we're looking for delta Q, and that's gonna be in coulombs. So let's just solve this for delta Q. Delta Q equals I delta T. And we have all those numbers, so let's plug it in. Delta Q equals I delta T, which is 100 milliamps. 100 milliamps is 100 times 10 to the minus three amps. And it's gonna last for 10 hours. Delta T is 10 hours, but hours is not SI units. We need to get that into seconds. And so we have 3,600 seconds is one hour. So the hours will cancel out and we will end up with amps times seconds. And let's run those numbers and see what we get. So 100 times 10 to the minus three is the same as 10 to the minus one. And then we have a 10 from the 10 hours. And then we have 3,600, which is 3.6 times 10 to the three. And if we plug in all those numbers into your head, it's not so bad, right? We've got a 3.6, and then we've got a 10 to the three, a 10 to the four, and then we're subtracting one, so it's a 10 to the three again. And so we just end up with 3.6 times 10 to the three. And the units are amp seconds, okay? And that is coulombs, right? We said one amp second is a coulomb. So 3,600 coulombs of charge in a AA battery that is available for your use. How many electrons is that? Well, 3,600 coulombs. I wanna convert that to electrons, so all I have to do is multiply by one. So coulombs has to go in the bottom, electrons has to go in the top, and now I need to put a number here somewhere. What do I know? I know that one electron has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Okay. And so we get 3.6 times 10 to the three divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. 3.6 over 1.6 is pretty close to two. It's a little bit more than two, but that's approximately two, right? Two times 10, I have to add 19 to the top. So I get two times 10 to the 22. That is a lot of electrons, right? Weird thinking about how many electrons are gonna come out of this thing when you run it. Two times 10 to the 22 electrons. That's a phenomenal number. 
Shouldn't scare you though, right? Because we've talked about big numbers before. Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23, right? So this is on the order of that, which sounds reasonable.